This is a complete tutorial on Monopoly Guide for Beginners. So Monopoly Go is the online version of the popular board game Monopoly and has been brought to life in a brand new way in this entertaining mobile game. Players may experience the thrill of buying, trading, and constructing their way to fortune in a fast-paced multiplayer virtual world in an engaging game, Monopoly Go. Whether you've played Monopoly before or you are a newcomer, Monopoly Go on your smartphone or tablet guarantees you hours of strategic enjoyment and tactical rivalry. This Monopoly Go beginner's guide will clear all your doubts as an amateur. Gameplay Overview Monopoly Go's classic mode recreates this vintage Monopoly experience in a virtual environment and is one of the best game modes available in the Monopoly Go version of the board. Players throw virtual dice at the beginning of the game's classic mode to select how many spaces they can move across the virtual board. They decide on their favorite token. The token might be the recognizable top hat battleship or another well-known item. The addition of the number shown on the dice is the number of places the player can advance. After that, the player starts their journey to make purchases and grow their corporate empire. Players have the option to acquire properties as they move their tokens across the virtual board. In order to enhance their rental income, they can deliberately purchase homes and hotels. They can also define a certain color group in order to increase their earnings. They should also be careful of another player's homes and avoid landing on them if possible because doing so could result in high rent or even bankruptcy. Overall, the traditional mode in the online edition of Monopoly gives players the option to experience the familiar and beloved gameplay they grew up with. Players can experience the thrill of creating their own business empires and becoming the richest players in the virtual Monopoly world using virtual dice, a digital board, and well-known items of property purchase, rent collecting, and card drawing. So in the digital version of the original mode of Monopoly, roll the dice, plan ahead, and enjoy creating your own rich empire. Building and managing real estate. The empire building mode is one of them. In this mode, players can develop their very own real estate empires and unlock a ton of new boards to play on, each of which has recognizable landmarks from all over the world. Players in this empire building mode begin with a modest piece of ground and gradually expand their real estate holdings by buying homes, renovating them, and renting out space to other players. As players advance, they have the chance to access over 100 new boards, each of which has a different theme and a set of characteristics. These boards might be based on well-known cities like New York, London, or Paris, and feature well-known cities like the Statue of Liberty, Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower, bringing an exciting new twist to the classic Monopoly game. But it goes further than that. Players in this mode can also enhance their landmarks to increase the benefits they receive. Players can increase their rental income, acquire new advantages, and surpass their rivals by property investing and upgrades. In order to improve a landmark, a player may add features or services, renovate a property, or even gain unique skills that will help them in their quest to become the greatest real estate emperor. The empire building game in Monopoly Go offers players countless chances for creativity, strategy, and competitive fun. This is because of their varied selection of boards and monuments to unlock. Hence, prepare yourself to create your own real estate empire, improve your landmarks, and rule the world of online Monopoly like never before. Participating in minigames. Players in Monopoly Go can participate in a variety of minigames and activities with other players to fully immerse themselves in a social and interactive experience. These characteristics increase the sense of unity and friendly competition, which increases the gameplay's thrill. Players can also engage in a daily tournaments for a chance to win one-time rewards. These competitions could include challenges, races, or other contests that evaluate participants' tactical ability. Players compete to go up to the leaderboards and win exclusive gifts that might not be available during normal gaming, which gives the game a competitive edge. With its interactive elements, Monopoly Go encourages players to connect with one another, work together, and compete in a number of ways outside of the game's convert conventional rules. It improves the social side of the game by enabling communication between friends, the formation of alliances, and the display of achievements. This gives the experience of playing a digital board game an extra layer of pleasure and excitement. Some of the minigames include Shutdown, the shutdown minigames can be started by landing on one of the railway tiles. You'll go to another player's board in this minigame and make money by attacking their landmarks. Bank Heist. The Bank Heist minigame can be started by landing on one of the railway tiles. During this minigame, you'll be provided with a collection of bank doors, each one hiding your opponent's riches. You'll be able to check how much money you've stolen once you've discovered three of the same kind of treasure. Utilizing your resources efficiently. Players can purchase a variety of products from the shop in Monopoly Go, the online version of the popular board game 
game to improve their gaming experience. Dice rolls and money are among the products in the shop that may be brought with real money and with those who want to advance the game more quickly. The shop is an important aspect of the Monopoly Go Beginner's Guide. Monopoly Go relies heavily on dice rolls because they decide how far players can move their tokens on the virtual board. In addition to the usual dice rolls they had received during the turn, players may have the option to purchase additional dice rolls at the shop. Players may benefit from this by converting more land on the board, possibly landing on valuable properties and collecting rent from rivals. Another important component of Monopoly Go is money, which is used to acquire properties, upgrade landmarks, pay rent and draw cards. Among other things, players may have the choice to use real money to purchase extra money in the form of in-game currency at the shop. This may provide them with the financial boost enabling them to make investments in real estate, update their landmark and develop their monopoly strategy more swiftly. It's vital to remember that although these products can be brought with real money, players can even play the game without any purchase. Without making any purchases from this shop, players can still advance and have fun because they can also earn money in dice rolls through normal gameplay. Players can conveniently buy more dice and money from the shop in Monopoly Go to advance through the game more quickly. When deciding whether or not to make a purchase in the shop, it's crucial for players to apply good judgment while keeping in mind that games desired fun and competitive nature. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.